today my old dear students we are going to discuss the important questions for the examination what all questions can come or oh, what are the possibilities of all these short questions for your exams so that you may prepare very well so let us have a look at the most important questions there will be asked more that is only two questions you will be given two options out of this short story of o henry the last leaf and you will have to answer only one question of this story of this chapter so only to prepare one question you are being given so many options so that you may be well prepared so what kind of questions can be asked just look one by one the very first what does the last leaf symbolize what does the last leaf symbolize and the answer to this question may be last leaf last leaf symbolizes the small possibility of life last leaf symbolizes the small possibility of life or you can answer to this question that the last leaf is about a sign of despair okay last leaf is the symbol of or it is a sign of despair which changes in the sign of hope when our this story starts the last leaf is a symbol of despair but when the story ends last leaf it symbolizes hope uh, then you can mention a little in a short the plot of the story that uh, jonsi she had lost all the desires or charm in her life due to her illness pneumonia she thought that when the last leaf fell she would die okay only 3 4 lines will be sufficient to the answer that is the answer to this question now next question that is very important what is the plot what is the plot of the last leaf and the answer you can write like this i am giving you an example so this is the answer to this question what is the plot of the last leaf written by o henry okay and you will write you will answer within few lines like this the last leaf is concerned with jonsi jonsi is a poor young woman who is seriously ill with disease pneumonia she believes that when the ivy vine on the wall outside her window loses all its leaves she will also die jonsi's neighbor bayman an artist tricks her by painting a leaf on the wall jonsi recovers but bayman who caught pneumonia dies while painting the leaf okay but bayman dies because he had caught pneumonia while painting the leaf so this will be sufficient answer to this question what is the plot of the last leaf then another question may be asked the language may be changed what is the summary of the last leaf okay what is the summary of the last leaf the answer may be the same what is the plot what is the story of the last leaf or what is the summary of the last leaf so here if you want to change your answer or in another manner you can write here what is the 
summary of the last leaf that johnny uh, no uh, the that is uh, the answer will be like this johnsy is a young artist from california she lives with her friend sue in a studio apartment in greenwich village she has long dreamed of visiting italy and uh, the answer will be that she she wanted to paint the bay of naples she falls seriously ill with pneumonia she believes to be dead when the last leaf falls from the vine or from the creeper outside her window the doctor regards it her hopelessness and her acceptance of death and uh, the doctor regards it uh, a main hindrance to her recovery she tries to cheer her up but she also fails and then mr bayman he paints a realistic looking leaf onto the wall out of her window and she is convinced now she regains her health but uh, she is informed by sue the next day of the death of bayman he has died of pneumonia okay so you can you can give an answer to this question like this also now the next question what was the dream of bay man what was the dream of bay man and the answer will be like this bay man was a uh, 60 years old bay man was a 60 year old artist he had a dream to paint a masterpiece his painting of an ivy leaf was his masterpiece which saved the life of johnsy as it was difficult to recognize whether the leaf was real or it was simple a painting so the answer to this question what was the dream of bayman will be like this or maybe like this right now our next question the language of the question may be changed but what kind of questions you can be asked it is also very important character character of bayman explain do you think bayman was a true friend if yes then how next how did bayman sacrifice to save the life of johnsy okay all these questions are same the answer to this question or all to all these questions will be same i am giving you only the sample or the example of what kind of language may be changed how did bayman save the life of johnsy how did bayman die or why did bayman die right or how was johnsy life saved or what saved johnsy's life so now the answer that is the character of bayman explain so if we talk about the character of bayman of course he he sacrificed his life for johnsy and his character is very very important in the whole story of o henry's the last leaf and you can write like this that uh, bayman was an old artist 60 years old and he lives downstairs from sue and johnsy he has been painting for four decades without any commercial success but uh, still he hopes he still hopes to paint what he calls his master piece he is an alcoholic or he is a drunkard and uh, he earns money by posing as a model for artists in the neighborhood he goes outside on a cold and rainy night to paint a realistic leaf on to the wall out uh, of the window of johnsy only to save her life 
and as a result of this sacrifice Bamen catches pneumonia and he dies right. So, he sacrificed his life to save her life the life of Jonesy. In this way you can mention the character of Bamen. Then do you think Bamen was a true friend? Yes, he was a true friend as I have mentioned the answer will be the same ok because he sacrificed his life. So, he was a true friend. How did Bemen save the life of Jonesy? That is drawing or painting a leaf, a realistic leaf on the wall out of the window of Jonesy. Then she was convinced, Jonesy was convinced and she took that painting of leaf real. So, in this way you can mention here how did Bemen die? He died he died of uh, pneumonia because of painting throughout the stormy night only to save the life of uh, Jonesy. Okay? So, in this way you will find that the answer will be the same only you have to change one or two line. Why did Bemen die? He died because he wanted to save the life of Jonesy and for that he painted a a leaf on the wall out of the window of Jonesy to save her life. But because it was uh, raining very heavily, it was snowing very heavily, so Bemen he caught pneumonia and then he died, right. How was Jonesy's life saved? What saved Jonesy's life? It was the painting of leaf that saved Jonesy's life. Oh, it was. It was Bemen who saved the life of Jonesy because Bemen he painted a leaf on the wall. So, Jonesy life was saved by Bemen and the answer can be given just like this. Okay? The answer to all of these questions. Bemen was an old artist. His last desire was to paint a masterpiece in his life. Okay? Answer to all of these questions because the answer will be the same. right? And most important is character or oh, how did Bemen sacrifice to save the life of Jonesy. So, just look at the answer to all of these questions. Bemen was an old artist. His last desire was to paint a masterpiece in his life. His painting of a leaf saved the life of Jonesy. It survived through the storm of night, but he was attacked by pneumonia and he died. Jonesy got the willpower to live because the last leaf did not fall off the ivy creeper. So, this answer will be sufficient. Now, the next most important question is, is the last leaf a story of supreme sacrifice? Is the last leaf a story of supreme sacrifice? If yes, then how explain? Now, the answer to this question is, Jonesy developed a belief that she would die with the fall of the last leaf on the creeper. She started to count the leaves. Bemen called Jonesy stupid and foolish and he did not say a word. He does not even tell what he was going to do or how he is going to help Jonesy. He worked whole night in the stormy and rainy weather to paint the leaf on the wall. His clothes and shoes were wet, he fell to pneumonia and he died, but he saved Jonesy's life. So, this answer will be sufficient to this question is the last leaf a story of supreme sacrifice. Next question may be what fear did Jonesy have in her mind? What fear Jonesy had or Jonesy have in her mind. Okay? And the answer will be what fear she had? Jonesy had fear 
in her mind of her death that when the last leaf of the creeper will fall she dies right so jonesy she carried this fear in her mind that if the last leaf of the vine falls down she will die who was same that was character o who was bemen and what led to his unfortunate death okay this can be asked what led to the unfortunate death of bemen and what led bemen he wanted to save the life of jonesy and for that he threw out the night in stormy night he painted the leaf on the wall and because of doing that he catches pneumonia and then he dies what happened to bemen the okay the same answer what happened to bemen what was jonesy's illness what can cure her or how can she be cured okay what was jonesy's illness one question another question can be just like this what can cure jonesy or how can she be cured and the answer to all these questions will be like this jonesy was seriously ill she was suffering from pneumonia but she also suffered from depression and she carried a misconception that she would die as soon as the last leaf on the creeper would fall down the medicine had no effect on her and it was only her willingness that could save or cure her so the answer to this question then next question important questions why did bemen spend a night out in the storm and rain of course he spent a night out in the storm and rain to paint a leaf on the wall to save the life or to convince jonesy that she must be alive now characterization of the last leaf discuss in brief characterization if this kind of question is asked characterization so you know very well that there are only four characters jonesy siu doctor and bemen and you have to tell all of those characters in brief one by one now what is the theme what is the theme of the last leaf you can give the answer to this questions like this what is the theme of the last leaf or what is the central idea of the last leaf or make an analysis of the short story the last leaf okay and the answer will be often we find people having a negative attitude toward life they lose interest in life and this causes suffering to people surrounding them they are even ready to lose their life as life seems to lose all meanings to them the story tells the need to have a positive attitude towards life so that we can make it as fruitful as possible or oh, sacrificing our life for the sake of others is also a theme in this story as bemen he sacrifices his life for jonesy another answer to this question may be the story is based on the theme that life is precious and we should never give up faith and hope in the life we come across many obstacles in life but they should be overcome by fighting back in high spirits depression can lead to disaster even when the situation is not bad okay so it may be your answer to this question what is the theme next important question can be asked justify justify the title of the last leaf and the answer will be you can look here the answer will be the title the title raises the curiosity of the reader the word last leaf the word last 
reflects the main idea of the story which is the last breath of John C. Okay, justify the title of the last leaf. The title raises the curiosity of the reader. The word last reflects the main idea of the story which is the last breath of John C. The last leaf becomes the last hope of survival and keeps the reader curious to the end. Throughout the story, the last leaf remains the central point. It conveys the message of craze, hope and optimism. The last leaf saves Jonesy's life and even fulfills Bayman's lifelong dream to paint a masterpiece. So, the title is appropriate of this short story, The Last Leaf, right? Now, the last question, most important again, what is the message of the last leaf? And you can answer to this question like this. What is the message of the last leaf? The answer will be, this story, the last leaf gives the best message that we should have a positive attitude in life. John C. was under depression. She felt her life was linked to the leaves on the ivy creeper. This prevented her from getting better from her illness. She was causing harm to herself and to others. Had she adopted a positive attitude, Bayman would not have died. The message is that our thinking and our attitude affect the lives of other people too. So, all these are important questions, right? And uh, I do not think that any other question can come out of all this. So, if you make a preparation of all these questions, you will be able to answer to any questions that appear in your exams related to O. Henry, the last leaf.